How's it going guys? I was supposed to make a video of this forever ago. I've been working on it for a while. Uh, these books got a lot of interest on the forum and on the uh, Facebook group. And I'm gonna show you how to make them. They came out really, really good. I'm really excited about them. And let me show you how I did it. Okay, first you want to print out the sigil or thing you want on the front of the page. Try to size it the right way. You can do it a ton of different ways. Uh, I did it with a uh, Photoshop, but you can do it with pretty much anything. You want the words too. You want to get those cut out and cut out of a piece of something that's kind of thick, maybe like a quarter of an inch, so you can get it raised. Then I cut some strips of foam. You can use paper you can use pretty much anything and I glued them to the top as a border uh, you can use like I said paper construction paper or foam or um, pretty much anything that you want but a nice border to taste is probably a good way to go and I just put it on all four sides and glued them in and then cut them to length Okay, with everything glued on and secured, I put ribbing on the sides of the of the book, like an old, like an older book. Um, they had that kind of like cool ribbing from the ties. So I used hot glue and I just put a bead, like five beads, That's about it. Okay, and then I cut the paper off to have the glue stick to something a little bit better. Um, I used the paper and glued it to foam to um, get a better template, and then I used my hot wire cutter to cut it out. So then you can just kind of peel the paper off, make sure you have something good to stick to. Um, if it, you're using paper, you construction paper or chipboard or something like that, then you know how you can skip that step. Okay, so now I use tissue paper from the dollar store. Real cheap. You just want to make sure it's bigger than the book and then crumple the living shit out of it. The better, the more crumpled you have it, the better off you're gonna be. As you can see, I've, I've put it into a really, really small ball and then put it aside. Then put enough glue on the top, on the front that you think is too much and then put a little bit more because you're gonna need it to spread it out and cover the entire front of the book or sides or back or whatever you're working on. and then spread it out. Okay, so the glue's all spread out. And then I'm gonna uncrumple my, my tissue paper. Now, I started doing this with a wet foam brush. You should use a dry foam brush to do this because uh, the, the wet foam brush will stick to the tissue paper and you don't want that to happen. So you wanna make sure that the, the, the wrinkles stay. You want them to stay as much as you can. When you lay this down over the top, don't smooth it out. Just push it down. So you can see, I, you just wanna just basically tap and push it into the little cracks. I started in the middle because I figured that was the best way to get the most cracks and, and, and wrinkles into it as best you could. So just go slow and it takes a while, but you'll get it and it'll look nice. Oh, if you like the music, check out my other channel. Uh, that's the main channel that I do. It's called uh, Metal as Fuck Jam Tracks. I'll put a card in the uh, in the description, or a link in the description of the card in the upper right hand corner. And uh, let me know what you think. So I painted the whole book black. Not hard to figure out. Just paint it. 
I used cheap acrylic paint, as you can see, the Americana stuff, uh, and a foam brush, and just kind of tap. You don't want to, you don't want to smooth. Don't smooth anything out. So when the whole thing's black, what you want to use? This is gilding paste I got from Michaels for like five bucks. A tin will last you the rest of your life. And then I just put a little on my finger and watch the magic happen. So you just rub it on the top of the lettering, and the lettering just comes out. I'll try to put a list of the stuff that I used in the description below. Uh, it's really all just basic stuff. Elmer's glue, um, you know, black paint, doesn't really matter what it is. The gilding paste is really the most specific thing. All right, and then I did a dry, like a weird dry brush sponge on the sigil itself, uh, which you'll see here in a, different couple, in a couple different colors, excuse me. And try to be, you know, careful that you don't get it on the rest of the book. Uh, I did have some interest in the in the beginning of this whole thing where people were just wanted to leave them black, and I thought that was pretty cool too. So you know, they can, if you like it the way they look black, just skip this part. And then I used a black wash, which was just black paint and water and a little bit of dish soap, and I wa went over the sigil itself just to make it look a little bit more grungy and old. Okay, so I used Brad's from uh, Michael's, those reclamations or whatever they are, or recollections, I think it is, um, and I cut the tabs off. They're little brass Brad's, or like aged brass, and I cut the tabs off with a pair of clippers. They jump, so be careful, like wear eye protection. And then I just glued them in spots around the border to make it look like they were nails or rivets, uh, to make it look old and kind of gross. And I just took some Elmer's glue, glued them down to the top. So the best way to do that was just to put a dab of glue on the actual rivet and push it into the border. There's a little sharp spot on the back of these things. And you can just push it into the foam or into the paper as best you can. You may have a little bit less luck with this if you're using cardstock or chipboard. Alright, and I did like seven on the long sides and five on the on the shorter sides um, and it just made it even I got a little OCD on that you don't have to do that if you want to make it look a little bit more gnarly you can just make it look like somebody just randomly put them in there that'd be kind of cool too And that's it. And what I did after that was I just sprayed a little bit of uh, clear lacquer on them. And uh, that's just to protect them a little bit. They do wear out if you use them. These are meant to be used. I gave them to my party as character books. And they came out really well. And the guys, they use them every time. They absolutely love them. So it's a lot of fun to just add something a little cooler uh, to your gameplay. So if you like this, I'd say subscribe, but I don't do this normally. Um, but, you know, give me a like. And a comment would be really, really cool. Thanks a lot, guys.